A reliable source has revealed major performance upgrades expected in the upcoming Samsung Galaxy S26 Ultra. The next generation flagship is set to introduce an enhanced Snapdragon chipset, pushing mobile performance to new heights. The Galaxy S26 Ultra will be powered by the Snapdragon 8 Elite 2 processor, delivering stronger performance than its predecessor. Reports suggest the chip's prime core may reach 4.74 GHz, overtaking the Galaxy S25 Ultra's 4.47 GHz. The SoC confirmed for the S26 Ultra is the Snapdragon 8 Elite 2 for Galaxy. Leaked data points to around a 6% increase in peak clock speeds, combined with six efficiency cores and a more advanced GPU. This improvement signals a noticeable performance boost that users will definitely feel. At the same time, Samsung is also working on its in-house 2NIM Exynos 2600 chip, showing its determination to stay ahead in the processor race. With Qualcomm's next Snapdragon setting higher benchmarks, upcoming iPhones may face tougher competition from Samsung's flagship. Stay tuned, 2025 is shaping up to be a big year for mobile performance. What's your thoughts on this? Let me know in the comments section. Samsung Galaxy S26 Ultra may debut with an AI-powered OLED display. A fresh report points to the adoption of new screen technology that Samsung Display first presented at Mobile World Congress 2024. According to deal site via Jukin Losri, the Galaxy S26 Ultra is expected to feature an AI-driven Flex Magic Pixel OLED panel. This advanced display will be smart enough to shield on-screen content from unwanted glances. The Ultra model will be the only one to gain this upgrade, while the Pro and Edge variants are said to continue using the S25 screen solution. However, industry analysts believe Samsung could extend this innovation to its next generation of foldable devices. The Flex Magic Pixel display can limit viewing angles by adjusting individual OLED pixels with AI control. This allows the system to simulate the effect of a privacy screen protector directly through software and hardware integration. With this new display, Samsung aims to resolve a key privacy concern. Users will no longer need to rely on an additional privacy film, as the phone itself will protect sensitive information from being seen by others. Samsung is also evaluating the use of COE screen technology in the Galaxy S26 Ultra. This would eliminate the traditional polarizer, replacing it with a printed color filter on the TFT, while the standard pixel-defined layer PDL would be substituted with a black PDL. What's your thoughts on this? Let me know in the comments section. We're now going to run through the full specs, design, and expected pricing to help you decide which one is right for you, so hit subscribe now and let's dive right into it. First up, the standard Galaxy S26. It's coming with a 6.2-inch dynamic A and OLED display with improvements in brightness and color accuracy. We get a 120Hz display with HDR10+, and a resolution of 1080x2340. The display will be protected by Gorilla Glass Victus 3. For selfies, it has a 12-megapixel punch hole camera. On the rear, there's a triple camera setup consisting of a wide, ultra-wide, and telephoto, but the exact sensors are still unknown. It'll be powered by the Snapdragon 8 Elite Gen 2 chipset and comes with 12GB of RAM and up to 512GB of storage, UFTS 4.0. The battery is a 4000 mAh unit with 25dB fast charging and 15dB wireless charging. It will also support 5G, Bluetooth 5.4, Wi-Fi 7, and ultra-wideband support. The phone will launch with One UI 8 based on Android 16 and is expected to start at around $800 in January 2026. Next we have the Samsung Galaxy S26 Plus, which may also be known as the S26 Edge. This one will come with a 6.7-inch dynamic A and OLED display with similar improvements in brightness and color accuracy. You'll get a 120Hz display, HDR10+, and a resolution of 1440x3120, protected by Gorilla Glass Victus 3. There's a 12-megapixel punch hole camera for selfies. The rear setup includes a dual camera system with a wide and an ultra-wide camera, though the exact sensors are still under wraps. It's also powered by the Snapdragon 8 Elite Gen 2, and will come with 12GB of RAM and storage options of 256GB or 512GB, UFSTS 4.0. The battery is a 4,900 mAh unit with 45 dayu fast charging 
and 15D wireless charging. It will support 5G, Bluetooth 5.4, Wi-Fi 7, and ultra-wideband. This model will launch with One UI 8 based on Android 16 and is expected to be priced from $1,000 in January 2026. Finally, we have the premium model, the Samsung Galaxy S26 Ultra. This one features a 6.9-inch dynamic A&O LED display, again with improvements to brightness and color accuracy, 120Hz refresh rate, and HDR10+, with a resolution of 1440x3120 and it will be protected by Gorilla Glass Armor 3. There have been reports suggesting that this could feature the first ever under-display camera on an S-series phone, likely an 8-megapixel under-display selfie camera. On the rear, it will come with a quad camera setup featuring wide, ultra-wide, telephoto and periscope lenses, but the exact sensors are still unknown. The phone will be powered by the Snapdragon 8 Elite Gen 2 in all regions and will come with 12 gigabytes of RAM and up to 1 TB of storage, UFS 4.0. It's packing a 6000 mAh battery with significant improvements to fast charging. As expected, it will also support 5G, Bluetooth 5.4, Wi-Fi 7, and ultra-wideband. The S26 Ultra will launch with One UI 8 based on Android 16 and is expected to start at $1,300 in January 2026. Overall, it's looking like the Samsung Galaxy S26 series is going to be an exciting release, especially if the Ultra becomes the first S-series phone to feature the under-display camera. Samsung seems to be continuing their strategy of improving and refining their phones, rather than completely redesigning them for the sake of it. And just like all new phones, there will be a major emphasis on software, with AI playing a huge role in the user experience. The launch is still a bit far off, but we can expect plenty of information to leak as we approach the release date. Make sure you're subscribed so you don't miss out on the latest updates.